I never told Don McGahn to fire Mueller. If I wanted to fire Mueller, I would have done it myself. It's very simple. I had the right to. And frankly, whether I did or he did, we had the absolute right to fire Mueller. In the meantime, I didn't do it. I'm a student of history. I see what you get when you fire people, and it's uh, not good. Uh, but there would have been nothing wrong with firing him. Legally, I had absolute right to fire, but I never told Don McGahn to fire Mueller. And by the way, and Mueller finished out his report, no collusion and no obstruction. Mr. President, how do you beat Joe Biden? I think we beat him easily. Speak up, up, up. You got to tell him. Diesel. Oh. They have to get the shot. The vaccinations are so important. This is really going around now. They have to get their shots. Mr. President, how old is too old to be president? Well, I think that uh, I just feel like a young man. I'm so young. I can't believe it. I'm the youngest person. I am a young, vibrant man. I look at Joe. I don't know about him. I don't know. I would never say anyone's too old, but I know they're all making me look very young, both in terms of age and I think in terms of energy. I think you people know that better than anybody. Yeah. Oh, I've answered that question. And if you look at what I said, you will see that that question was answered perfectly. And I was talking about people that went because they felt very strongly about the monument to Robert E. Lee, a great general. Whether you like it or not, he was one of the great generals. I've spoken to many generals here, right at the White House, and many people thought of the generals. They think that he was maybe their favorite general. People were there protesting the taking down of the monument of Robert E. Lee. Everybody knows that. I think we're doing very well with North Korea. A lot of progress is being made. I appreciated President Putin's statement yesterday. He wants to see it done also. I think there's a lot of excitement toward getting a deal done with North Korea. In the meantime, when I came here, there were nuclear tests, missile tests, rocket tests. We got our hostages back. We got remains back and continue to come back from the war. The, our great heroes, the remains. Uh, there's been no test. There's been no nothing. So at some point, you're going to report the facts. I have a great relationship with Kim Jong-un. Uh, I appreciate that Russia and China is helping us. And China is helping us because I think they want to. They don't need nuclear weapons right next to their country. But I also think they're helping us because of the fact that we're in a trade deal, which, by the way, is going very well. What we're doing is executive. So what we're doing in the history of our country, there has never been a president that's been more transparent than me or the Trump administration. I let White House counsel McGahn testify. I let everybody testify. I think McGahn, excuse me, I think McGahn was in there for 30 hours. Who ever heard of such a thing? But I said, I want everybody to testify. Obviously, McGahn thought he testified fine because he was with the administration for a long time after that. And I think he said he was just joining up with respect to the appointment of judges by the administration. But I let everybody testify. There's never, ever been transparency like this. So, so, just so you understand. So we got a great, excuse me. We get the ruling, which I knew we were going to get because I have nothing to do with Russia and the campaign. So we get a ruling, no collusion. We essentially get a ruling, no obstruction. Based on the facts, our great attorney general made a an immediate decision. There was no obstruction. So we have no collusion, no obstruction. We had total transparency. We gave 1.4 million documents, if you can believe such a ridiculous thing. 
500 people testified. We had 18 people that were Trump haters. That includes Mr. Mueller. He was a Trump hater. And wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. With all of this, with all of this, with all of this transparency, we finish no collusion, no obstruction, right? Then I get out the first day, they're saying, let's do it again. And I said, that's enough. We got we have to run a country. We have a very great country to run. And frankly, when I go through it with the House and the Senate, and we have no collusion, no collusion, no obstruction, no obstruction, then we have, again, we have to go through it. This is a pure political witch hunt. We did nothing wrong, and the only thing I did is make our country stronger, give it the numbers like people haven't seen before. What we're doing in this country financially with the military, with our veterans, you look at veterans, we now have Veterans Choice. Nobody's ever done what I've done in their first two years. So if I'm guilty of anything, it's that I've been a great president and the Democrats don't like it, which is a shame. I'm going to Indianapolis. We're going to the NRA, and we look forward to it. How do you think, How do you do it? I would say easily. <laughs>